Master School is host to some 336 students from ages 3 to over 18. In this school, jam-packed with groundbreaking, capable young students, one historical leader will set out to discover exactly who is chosen to lead. I'm Don Steele, former headmaster of the Master School. I was here for 20 years, and during that time I saw some amazing things happen. I enjoy being here every day I can, especially because I have three grandchildren here. As headmaster, he was in charge of the students. Now he will enter the classroom again, but this time he will infiltrate as one of the students. From the Crayola-filled lower school trenches to the whizzing technology speedway of the upper school, this retired headmaster will go in on the front line, immersing himself in the modern pool of knowledge. Will his expedition back in time to the days of his schooling pay off, or will he just get schooled? Find out on Undercover Headmaster. I am so ready for this challenge. I'm not sure I can pull it off with the disguise, but I think so. You have to remember a lot of these faculty members know me quite well. I'm on a mission. I want to find out what this school is doing now to prepare leaders for the future. While undercover, I'll be posing as Donnie, a student trying to decide if this is the right school for me to enroll in. Hey, is this your first day at Masters? Yeah, you got any advice? Always listen to your teachers. Okay, what are you thinking? No matter what you do, yeah. do not throw snowballs. Teachers hate that, don't they? They hate it. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Because I love throwing snowballs. You can't exactly have students throwing snowballs at each other, or at the faculty. Okay, we're here. Have a good day, everybody. Don't leave any trash. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, I think you dropped your phone. Oh, thanks. Have a great day. That was a close one. I thought sure I was busted. The way she looked at me, it was like she looked right through me. Donnie? He seems like a nice kid, but a little bit too plugged in, I think. Uh, he seems